Cole is our advisor and you could probably introduce the young ladies. Good evening. Thank you for having us. Really appreciate the opportunity to speak to you. It's a privilege to be here with members of the community and the school board and many of my students, actually. It's fun to, fun to see you here tonight. Um, I was approached at the beginning of the school year. I'd heard uh, rumors over the summer that students were talking about starting a black student union. I was um, asked about the possibility of sponsoring that early on in the school year, and I, I knew about black student union organizations. They're very uh, popular at universities and many educational uh, outlets, high schools as well. Um, and I was uh, supportive of the idea. And these young ladies are the, are the leaders of the Black Student Union and really took the initiative in getting things started. I want to, and, and keeping it going, I want to thank the school board and administration, Dr. Short and uh, Mr. Stevens at the high school for being receptive uh, to having this organization. I know they are not, um, some school districts are struggling with whether to accept them or not. And uh, Gateway was quite receptive to it. And we really do appreciate that. So. I'm going to turn this over to the young ladies. They'll introduce themselves and tell you about the group. All right. Hi, I'm Kiana. And kind of uh, piggybacking off of what Mrs. Spinola said about um, where BSUs came from, they mostly came from um, predominantly white universities in the late 1960s, of course, like after Jim Crow laws were abolished. And black students basically seeing that all their campuses focused like all their leadership positions were filled by like their white students and white counterparts. And they kind of created the Black Student Union to give themselves leadership and to provide unity and community among their campus, amongst their campus because um, they were fighting the same civil rights movement as um, the other activists that we're more familiar with. Hello, my name is Nia Latham. Good evening, everyone. I just want to give some background on how we started the BSU and how we kind of figured out how we were going to form it and what we wanted to do with it. We actually knew a girl that um, graduated in 2014, and she came to us about a girl that graduated last year and wanted to see if we wanted to um, <coughs> extend a handout to actually start um, creating the BSU. We wanted to create it so that we could unify students and educate them on their own culture and also make it so that other ethnicities could be a part of it and we do not discriminate, but we did want to target African American students who have the tendency to struggle in school and even in their personal life. We wanted to provide a safe place for students and congregate and accomplish their school and personal goals. Thus far, we have steered all our members in the right direction and with mentorship, private tutoring, and to keep close relationships with them and checking up on them in their grades. Thank you. That's awesome. And then also, um, uh, who are we? We are inspired, empowered, and endowed with American, African American growth in our community. We focus on unity within our school. We think it's important to have all of us together and communicate with each other due to the political climate, like the climate in schools. We want to lessen the achievement gap from white students to African American students. And all of us are dedicated to um, fighting that battle because we want every single student and gateway, especially like also the African American students, to be part of that gateway greatness. We want them to, you know, finish high school and go to universities or secondary educations or trade schools as well. And um, yeah, like I said, we're all fighting to end that achievement gap in Gateway High School. And lastly, we're leaders and activists in our community. Hi everyone, my name is Erica Jackson. Um, I'm a junior at Gateway High School. Um, I'm just gonna be talking about basically uh, what we've done so far. So uh, in our first, very first meeting in October, we had over 60 uh, students come to our meeting and it was really a great turnout. Um, and for February, we've had uh, a Black Culture Awareness Week. And for Monday, we did Mo Move Your Body Monday. And basically it uh, consisted of uh, a presentation done by uh, the leaders and uh, we talked about jazz, uh, we talked about Mar uh, majorette, and we also talked about West African dance. On Tuesday, we, talk, uh, we didn't talk about it, but we uh, wore pens to support uh, students, um, not students, but African Americans who uh, have uh, experienced uh, hate crimes. On Wednesday, we had Black Women Wednesday, and uh, we had five prominent uh, African American women who came in and they gave us a TED Talk on, um, on their lives and the struggles that they have faced um, in their community, and it was a very good discussion. 
Um, we had a trivia Thursday, and we also had a flashback Friday um, to talk about our black culture and things like that. Um, we also had Taram Jenkins, uh, a lawyer who graduated from Gateway. He came to our school, and he talked about um, his his life and just about um, just what it, how it is to get on that career path and how to just keep going. Um, we've also had Mr. Ken Houston come to one of our meetings before, and he's talked to us about uh, the, how we can further expand our BSU and the good things that are going to come from it. Um, he's been helping us uh, a, a lot. Um, we've also had uh, a FAMU representative. A FAMU is Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. It's a HBCU in Florida. Um, we had a family representative come in and he talked to us about his school and that was done uh, through Monica, Miss Monica Pugh, who uh, works at uh, the Pittsburgh Public Schools. Um, for, uh, we also had for a CSC, we went to the CSC uh, students and we read to the kindergartners and it was a good turnout. We had pictures on Twitter and um, I'm also the yearbook editor so I took pictures for that event. Um, and we're also in May 18th, we're going to create a mini-thon team. Um, just to support the cause of it. Um, we're doing a lot to just connect and unify African Americans with other races and just bringing them in so that we can diversify and connect to uh, other students. All right, so um, <clears throat> good evening, everyone. My name is Mia Thomas. Just a little bit about myself. I'll be attending Penn State University in the fall, and I'm going to be summing up um, pretty much everything that you've heard today, as well as a little bit of my own personal experience um, as a young African-American woman um, in Gateway, um, and just also finishing up with essentially why we're here and what we want. So um, dating back to junior year, this is a little bit of a story. Um, Kiana and I were in our honors anatomy class and we were just, you know, talking together, ranting about how we feel like our school isn't 100% for us as African American students. And we were also voicing the concerns of how many other students <clears throat> also feel in the school district as well. So we decided we were just spitting off ideas together about how can we combat the issues that we all feel like we're facing from a day to day basis. So um, she texted me in the summer and then we had the idea of starting a black student union. And just a little bit more about it, so our goals are to essentially, we all know the achievement gap, the issue between, the dispar disparity between African American students and white students, particularly on test scores and stuff like that. So our main goal this year was to combat that issue. Um, and one of the ways we tried to do it was to start this Black Student Union and create uh, a form of unity so that we all can feel supportive and, and uh, support each other academically and socially. Um, also, just to bounce off what Erica said, that all of the initiatives that we have been taking, um, it's created to support one another so that we all can feel empowered to do our best. Because once we have a support system together and we all understand our issues, I personally feel like we're unstoppable. Um, moreover, we were also discussing some of the issues of NHS, how there's not a lot of African American students, particularly African American males, who are not succeeding to the standards of their white peers. And that's an issue that we wanted to combat also this year in continuing further. Um, and I feel like one of the ways we can honestly do that is keep this Black Student Union around to keep the support going, to make sure that we're officially a club, to, to be in the handbook because we want our future generations, we want the future generations of students, of African Americans in general, to succeed. Because not only will that make us all look good, it will help them in the future, but it helps us as well. It makes our district look good. If we're having African Americans succeeding above all the other schools, what does that say about us? It says that we're doing something right. And that's all, I'm sure that's all why we're here because we're for the students, we want something. So that's why we wanted to create this, that's why we want to be here. And I hope that you guys will allow us to be an official club in the future, so thank you. Can I just say on behalf of the school board, we are so proud of you. You guys are so amazing and I commend you on your leadership, I commend you on the initiative that you guys took to start this club and the goals that you have set forth are amazing. And you have our full support. I don't know if you think you don't, but I don't think there's one person here that doesn't support your organization. And, and if there's anything that you need, uh, you let us know. Because if you guys succeed, like you said, the district succeeds, and that's the goal. We want everybody to get a great education here and to, and to be successful. So whatever we can do to help you, you let us know. Thank you for your presentation. Mr. Rucci, if yes, I may. sir. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you folks suggested to me you wanted to have a dance, uh, which I believe actually is on the agenda now, yes? Yes. yes. We're going to have a dance uh, April, well, Friday, 
April 26th from 7 to 10 at the Pitcairn Community Center. Also, if you guys want to see pictures of the things that we've done, we also have an Instagram account, GHS. I'm just working it. I'm just trying to say that because the people at home couldn't Sure, do it. yeah. Insta, Insta what brand? <laughs> on Instagram, we uh, on Instagram we have a BSU uh, account, so it's called GHS underscore BSU. <coughs> and when's your dance? Go ahead and say that in the mic. Uh, our BSU bash is on Friday, April twenty second, seven to ten. Where is it? At the Pitcairn Community. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Pick uh, Pitcairn Community Center, April twenty sixth. Now, don't I remember that you might also have needed a little more help? from the school board in order to put this dance on? Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah. Something in a financial nature? Or have I forgotten? Am I remembering that incorrectly? <laughs> yes, you're correct. Well, this would be a good time to ask for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we need money. <laughs> we don't have a lot of it. Uh, we do have fundraising, and uh, the dance will be fundraising for the VSU. And we've had the help of Mr. Ken Houston. Um, helping us and sponsoring us um, in this event. But we would like your help in future events as well, because we do need money. Very good. <laughs> okay. Can you go up to the microphone and say that? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Spinola, is there a certain dollar amount that's required before April 26th, because we don't have another school board meeting before then? Um, I'm not, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, and the tickets will be sold at the door. They're five dollars per person. What type of um, I don't want to say that you're doing at the dance that you're going to need funding for, so we can have an idea what you will need. Well, right now um, we have a DJ um, and we have a, a venue where we're going to be holding the event. Right now. Uh, we would like funding for drinks and snacks for the students so they, you know, can enjoy themselves. It's going to be a pretty long night, so they'll need something to drink and eat. Decorations. Decorations. We don't have the DJ, I'm sorry. That's what I'm saying. We don't have the DJ, but we do. We are working on that, so we would really like to help to, like, finance it because although, yes, it's a fundraiser, we do still need others help, and we really appreciate it. Okay. You all, there's nothing wrong with you saying we would like for you all to financially sponsor our event. We would, if you would be willing to give us a financial figure such as five hundred dollars, and you would give them the ledger. You can request that. Okay, we would like to request. <laughs> That's called mentoring. <laughs> That's hard, right? I don't have to repeat. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I had an opportunity to speak with you uh, probably a couple weeks ago and uh, did an outstanding job. I know Mr. Jenkins, I wanted to see him uh, as a former student. Uh, he remembers me very well as principal back in the day. So uh, he is running for, I believe, uh, district attorney. So uh, he provided what I heard was some wonderful insight into um, how his career developed. Uh, his education at Gateway, and uh, what he's learned over the years. So uh, it was a very, very valuable resource to be brought in. Nice job. Thank you. Before we move on, I'd like to make a motion to provide $500 for the Black Student Union in support of their efforts. Is there a second? Second. Ready, Bonnie? I'm ready. Roll call. We'll call. Mrs. Srucci? Aye. Mr. Gottman? Aye. Mr. Lapsevich? Aye. Mr. McIntyre? Aye. Mr. Ritter? Aye. Mrs. Warning? Aye. Mr. Williams? Aye. Mr. Bova? Aye. Motion carries. Aye, thank you. One condition, you have to come back at least once a year and give us updates, if not more. We'll do. Even when we transition to college. That's right. Very important. Mm -hmm.